In this video, I'm gonna show you guys how to properly clean and maintain your laptop. The laptop I'm gonna be working on today is this Lenovo IdeaPad Gaming 3. And flipping it over, as you can see, there's a lot of dust built up in the vents here. So we're gonna be both opening this thing up, dusting it out, cleaning it, and also repasting the CPU and GPU. Tools you're gonna to need for this job include a screwdriver set, rubbing alcohol, Q-tips, your new thermal paste, and an air duster, whether you wanna use a can duster or a cordless one like I'm doing here. First things first, we're gonna to need to remove all the screws from the bottom of the laptop. I like to use a bowl or something just so that I can keep track of all the screws and don't lose anything. Make sure to keep track of the different length screws. Uh, as you can see, this one, is quite a bit longer than the ones on the front of the laptop. Now for prying this thing open, I recommend using one of these plastic pry bar sets. Uh, you're gonna have to pry up underneath the bottom lid of the laptop and using a metal screwdriver or something like that could mess up the laptop, especially a plastic one like this. So we're gonna go along the edge here. Now keep in mind, every laptop might be a little bit different as far as the procedure for this and clip location and screw location. Um, I'm just using this laptop as an example um, this is a pretty general layout for especially budget laptops like this, um, but yours may vary depending on the brand. Okay, there we go. As you can see, the fans here are pretty caked in dust. Uh, this thing hasn't, I don't know if I've ever actually cleaned this laptop, so um, that's pretty, pretty important to keep clean. So we're going to get this thing all ready to go. So now that we have the bottom cover removed, go ahead and grab yourself another bowl or some sort of organizer because we're going to be taking these fans off. You can see this dust is really caked in here, and uh, this is the laptop that hasn't been cleaned, actually, I don't know if ever. Um, we're gonna be taking all these heat pipes off, these heat sinks, which the CPU and GPU are underneath there. So yeah, we're gonna need to organize these screws separately from the case screws. So we're gonna start taking this apart here. Just begin removing these heat sink screws. So I believe that's all the screws. I'm gonna go ahead and take care of these wires. They're kind of routed through the fan here, this is for our Intel Wi-Fi there. I believe all the screws are taken out. Now there are two plugs here for each fan. I'm going to remove this one first. The other one I might have to take the fan out first a little bit to get to it. Plugs are really small and a little bit hard to get to, so if it helps, grab a flathead bit on your screwdriver very carefully. Okay, we're gonna now begin lifting these heat sinks and fans out of here. This side popped loose, but this side's not wanting to. So either it's still a screw I'm missing somewhere or the thermal paste has basically glued itself. There it goes. Okay, now I'm going to remove this fan plug here. Okay, so this actually isn't nearly as dirty underneath the fans as I thought it would be, but we did gain access to our CPU and GPU under here. So I am going to dust this out anyway, just in case, just get any dust out of the motherboard and everything like that. But first we're gonna clean off this CPU and GPU. So that is where the Q-tips and alcohol comes in. Uh, this stuff actually doesn't look like it's too dried up. I take that back, it is pretty dried up. So um, what you're gonna do is just take a little bit of alcohol, put it on your cotton swab or Q-tip and use that to clean off the CPU and GPU. Make sure to get all that thermal paste off of there. You may go through a few Q-tips doing this. Some paper towel can also help to clean up any of the loose bits of the thermal paste. Careful not to scratch anything and don't use a paper towel that leaves like a lot of dust particles or anything like that. I also recommend just dabbing it with the paper towel. The hardest part of this is just getting in those edges. Okay, that is pretty clean. So so now that we did it to our CPU and GPU, we also have to do it on the heat sink side as well. Also, it's completely up to you guys. You can replace these thermal pads if you want to. I'm not going to since these all still look like they're in great condition. Now that we got that completely cleaned off, I'm gonna take my air duster and just dust this out a little bit. One thing to make sure of when you are dusting out the laptop is just make sure all the vents and everything like that here are clean. We need to clean the fans and these heat sinks as well, so I'm actually gonna go take this outside because there's a lot of dust in here and clean these out as well. One thing to keep in mind when dusting the fans, make sure to hold them so that they don't spin because they can actually generate electricity when they backspin and it can burn out your motors. And we just have to clean out one last thing, which is the bottom cover here, which gets dust kind of caked in these vents here. 
So now that everything is cleaned up, I'm just gonna do a quick once over with the air duster in the laptop once again. Just to make sure everything is cleaned out of there. This is where our thermal paste comes in. Um, I got Arctic MX6. This is a very highly rated thermal paste. And all you're gonna do is put about a pea-sized dollop on the GPU and CPU dies. Not too much, but not too little. Uh, what's this gonna, what is gonna happen is when we put our heat sink back on, it's gonna squish out over the CPU die and GPU die, and it's going to create a tight gap so that there's no air in between for good smooth thermal transfer. I'm making a little bit of a mess here, but we can clean that up. Okay, now what we're gonna do, make sure our heat sink is oriented the right way. Before I set this down on here, I want to plug in this fan so that I have easy access while I have easy access to it. Okay, now what we wanna do is just set this down. Try not to move it around too much as it squishes down. Oops, this guy's in the way. I'm gonna set it down directly on top, just like so. We're gonna take our screws and screw this thing down exactly the same way as we took these out. Now, I'm not going to tighten these down immediately. I'm just going to basically put them in till they start threading because we wanna tighten these down in a specific pattern so that the heat sink evenly presses that thermal paste and evenly distributes the pressure over the CPU and GPU die. So the way we're gonna do this is kind of a crisscross pattern. So I'm gonna go with this one. Just make them nice and snug. Now we are going to plug our other fan in. I'm gonna go route this Wi-Fi cable back through here, as well as this cable right here. All right, now we can go ahead and put the cover back on. This guy is just going to clip into place. Make sure to get all the clips to click in. And we can go ahead and screw this in, basically reversing the way we took all these screws out. Once again, just go ahead and make these nice and snug. Don't have to be super tight, but you don't want them loose and falling out either. So once that's all done, we can go ahead and flip this guy over and make sure it turns on. And there we go, it's booting into Windows. But we're not quite done yet because if we're cleaning the inside of the laptop, we might as well clean the outside of the laptop as well. So we're gonna take that same air duster, blow out all the little nooks and crannies and give this thing a good wipe down. I personally don't like to use any harsh chemicals on screens, so I'm just gonna take a microfiber cloth and wipe this down. Get all those fingerprints and all those that dust off of there. If you wanna dry the laptop after wiping it, you can also use a microfiber cloth and just wipe it down to dry it off. So that is how you clean and repaste your gaming laptop or just laptops in general. Um, again, this is just a general tutorial, so your laptop may be a little different depending on brand and model and things like that. Uh, but this is, again, just kind of a general tutorial. Now, I do have some before and after temperature numbers. Uh, the GPU before running Unigen Superposition at 1080p extreme settings hit a max temp of 86 degrees Celsius. After repasting and cleaning the laptop, that number went down to 82 degrees Celsius, so it dropped 4 degrees in temperature, and the CPU was a really big drop uh, before it was at 93 degrees Celsius running a Cinebench R23 test. And after repasting the CPU and cleaning the laptop, that number went down to 85 degrees Celsius. So the CPU went down eight degrees in temperature. Now this is going to help the lifespan of your laptop and your hardware inside. It's also going to be helping your gaming performance, video editing performance, multitasking performance, basically just overall. And it's also going to allow your machine to run a lot quieter. One thing I really noticed when running the before and after tests is before the fans were really ramping up to their max speed and the laptop was super loud. At the end of, after doing all this maintenance, uh, the laptop was much quieter and the fans didn't have to ramp up to their max. So it's gonna run a lot quieter as well, which is really nice. So it's super important. On a side note, you may have noticed the set looks a little bit different. I actually have a desk in front of me here. Uh, that's because I changed my setup a little bit so I could have 
uh, you know, an actual table in front of me for doing reviews, repairs, PC builds, and I think this is going to be a lot more uh, the better setup and a more efficient use of space. Uh, so this is going to be super great. I'm excited to do videos with this new kind of layout and setup here. So I hope you guys found this video helpful. I want to thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any questions or get stuck on something, feel free to let me know in the comments section below so I can try to help you out best I can. And again, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.